Hello everybody, it's Dana Sullivan, your Stampin' Chick, here with another Make It Monday! <laughs> How are you today, my friends? I hope you had a fantastic weekend. It is time for another fabulous Make It Monday video, and I have this adorable little project to share with you. I am so excited to share this because it is one of the brand new upcoming products, the Dress to Impress product bundle. It comes with a set of dies and one of the parts of the die, actually a few elements of the dies, uh, works together to create this beautiful little handbag, which I absolutely love. I think it's so cute, don't you? <laughs> and I have, I believe, six Lindor truffles uh, inside the bag, so that gives you um, an approximate size. You could put some little uh, three by three note cards in here or a gift card. This would be a beautiful little gift card holder. Uh, you could put some little Bath and Body Works things or all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's a really decent gift bag size. It's very cute. Now, um, I made another one earlier on and uh, I shared it actually over the weekend and let me just grab it right quick here we go because this is the same die set but I turned it into a backpack as you can see and look at how different the two look but yet they're made from the same dies and I'm telling you it is so much fun so cute so simple let's get started <laughs> okay so I'm using the dress to impress stamp and die bundle and when I talk about the dies that make this uh, handbag, I'm talking about the base of the bag here which you'll have to cut two pieces You'll use this little piece here, uh, which could be um, a label that you would stamp a sentiment on, but in this case, I'm going to use it as a pocket for the bag. Uh, this piece right here is what you would use for the strap uh, that closes it up. Now, I'm not going to put a closure strap on mine. Mine's going to be more like a beach bag or something today. So I'm not going to put this on, but I am putting the pocket. Uh, and then these two dies are the buckles. And look at how realistic and cute they are. Uh, and then with this one, I use some gold shimmer paper. Um, very pretty. Um, and then the buttons, there are two sizes. And I've used both sizes on this bag, where you can see the small one here and the large one here. Now, I didn't use uh, any buttons on this bag. I used some of these adorable little rose uh, stamp and die matched items. Um, and then there's a perfume bottle, a high heel shoe, the uh, fabulous tube of lipstick, and the two rose dyes that I used uh, for the front of this one. So um, the stamp set actually itself also come with a really cute collection of sentiments. Um, there's a Mother's Day one and then some fun girlfriend type sentiments. So this is a really, really cute, uh, friendly stamp set that you're going to be able to use for all kinds of fabulous gifts as well as just, um, you know, encouragement even. Be bold as your lipstick, right? Or life is short by the shoes. Um, and then friendly type sentiments, hello fabulous, kindness is always in style, and then the happy Mother's Day. So this is a fantastic, fun, sweet little stamp and die bundle. All right, enough chit chat about the stamps and dies. Let's get to it. For the bag, here's what you're going to need. Two of the bag uh, cutouts. Now I took a sheet of cardstock and uh, let me just grab my my sheet of paper here. Um, 
I took a sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I took it to four and three quarters this way and cut it up here. And then I could fit two of the dies on the four and three quarters by 11 inch piece of cardstock. So that's how I got those. And then I had a scrap section left over that I cut the two handles with. And then I was also able to get the pocket out of that same piece. So for one sheet of cardstock, you can get all of the pieces, plus you'll have some left over. And then I took the die and a sheet of designer series paper. And this suite actually has its own designer series paper. It's very pretty. Oops, I've got... I've got my silicone mat attacking me. <laughs> uh, it's very pretty paper, um, very feminine. It's got some floral prints. Uh, it's got makeup brushes, lipstick, shoes, uh, dots and flowers. Um, I know there's some handbags, whoops, handbags in here, perfume bottles. Goodness, I'm just going to fling it around. Anyway, you get the idea. It's very pretty paper, very feminine paper. Uh, you can take a sheet of this paper, six by six, uh, and if you cut it at three and three quarter inch, you'll be able to get two panels um, for the front of the bag. So that's this little uh, inset section here. So what I did, um, I cut the three and three quarters by six inch and I lined it up over just this section and then die cut it out and I did that twice. So I ended up with this and you can see there's a lot of scrap and extra and you see the stitching around here. Now I've already pre-cut this one for us, but basically all I'm doing is cutting just inside the dotted lines. So all the way around, I'm going to go ahead and cut inside the dotted lines, and that will give me a pretty good um, inset piece that's roughly the size that I need. So I'm just going to cut that section off. There we go. So Christmas is almost here. We're officially at Christmas Eve. Eve? <laughs> the day before Christmas Eve. And thankfully, I believe I have everything done that I need to get done. I'm making dinner rolls tomorrow evening for a Sunday or a Christmas dinner on Wednesday and uh, that should allow for me to have some quality family time with my husband and our kids on Christmas Day and then we'll have our our fabulous Christmas dinner and relax and enjoy our time together that evening before we get back to the grind of daily life so I think that it will all work out very well, and I'm hoping to have a stress-free Christmas. <laughs> I hope that you are also. I like it when the holidays come, and especially like it when they are low stress. Try really hard not to have too much stress around the holidays, because... You know, it's supposed to be a fun time. It's supposed to be a kind and loving time. And who needs all that stress for all of that? Especially when there's so much to do and think about otherwise. So I'm just lining this up and kind of trimming where I see that I need to trim a little. This is really just kind of um, an eyeball it kind of situation. So... Uh, as I line it up and I see where I need to trim some off, I'm going to do that. And then I'll line it up again and, and hopefully we get pretty darn close, which I think we have. So we're good. All right. So you've got your two, uh, bag bases. You have your two inset pieces, two shoulder straps, one pocket, four 
buckles and we're ready to go. Okay, let me get this out of the way. All right, now, first things first, let us burnish all of these score lines. Now, with the bag, you'll notice that I burnished this part out. And then with the backpack, you notice that I burnished them in. So that's honestly the only real difference between the backpack and the shoulder bag. Um, but as you can see, it makes a big difference, doesn't it? So we're making a shoulder bag. So we're going to just burnish those lines outward. There we go. Very good. Very good. Now we'll do the same thing on this one. There we go. And there we go. All right. Now you're going to want tear and tape for this because it just is easier to work with. So I'm going to line up that tear and tape with the inside fold of that little flap. So what I did was right here. I put the little uh, strip of tear and tape right there. So let me get that on this side too. And don't worry about it overlapping just a little bit because when you peel that backing off, you're going to be able to tuck it over. So don't worry about cutting it off or anything like that. Okay, we're going to burnish that down. Grab our quick pick tool. Okay, now I'm just folding that adhesive over. See, it's no big deal that it hangs off a little. Okay, and now we want to line it up so that the top edge lines up with the top edge, okay? So you're going to be mindful of that seam right there. You're just going to take it nice and easy, give it a good firm press, and you're ready. All right. And there we go. All right, now let me fold this one over. There we go. And before I wrap it around, let's go ahead and grab some snail and glue. Whoops, I went off track. <laughs> go ahead and grab some snail and do not put it on your work table, but instead put it on the piece of paper that you're trying to glue. There we go. There we are. Very good. All right, now let's just line it up with this. There we go. There's one. And two. These would make really cute gifts for, I don't know, like your sorority sisters or, I don't know, some other ladies group, a church group, or, you know, this would be great for Girl Scouts too, even. All right, there we go. All right, now I will go ahead and attach the pocket. And at this point, you can decide if you want this to be a real pocket uh, where you could slide a little note down. On this one, I did leave it open, but I ended up not putting a little note in there, but I still could. So if you want to do that, then I recommend using some liquid glue and uh, just put a little bead of the glue 
along the stitch lines on the three sides. This way, when it dries, you'll have that adorable little pocket. So we're just going to stick that right there. Make sure we're straight-ish. All right, looks good. Very nice. <clears throat> All right. Now we'll wrap this around, and once again, we're going to line up that top edge with the top edge and follow it on down the piece. There we go. Just like that. And then since this is the front, we want this panel to be last so that it goes that way and gives you a nice finished front edge. So we'll just go ahead and grab that Tombow again. I'm just going to kind of cover it with some glue here. There we go. All right. And then... Fasten it down just like so. There we go. All right, now our bag is ready. <clears throat> the next thing we need to do is put our straps on. What you'll want to do first is take your bone folder and just kind of break down the fibers of the handles a little bit. This will make them easier to get looped kind of how they need to be so we'll just take that there we go all right now before you attach your straps you're going to need to put your buckles on and they'll just slide just like a real buckle it's the cutest thing ever okay and then I want it to go just a little above the stitch line and I'm going to get the liquid glue again and I'm just going to brush a little glue just like that and I'm making sure to put it on the trim of the buckle as well because I don't want my buckle to shift uh, once it's on the bag and if you don't glue it as well it might. All right, so we'll just hold that for a second. There we go. Very good. All right, I guess you could put it on that way, but we're going to put it this way like a regular shoulder bag. So I'm going to take another buckle, put it on the same way, bring it around, give it a little glue, and attach it to the bag just like that now at this point of course you're going to want to make sure that your buckles are relatively lined up so that they match somewhat anyway <laughs> and there's your bag now i'll go ahead and i'll do this on the back side and then we will be done and you'll be free to embellish your little bag however you would like. Now, you can use some of the goodies that are in the Stampin' Die set, or you can come up with something totally unique and all your own, or you can leave it plain just how it is because it's really, really cute, even this way. So, let me just press that down. To me, this looks like a birthday bag, so I think this will probably hold a birthday gift. All right, bring that around, and there we go. Whoops, hold it a little more. There we are. Very good. That's fabulous.
What do you think, guys? Do you like it? Do you love it? There we go. Beautiful. All right, guys, there you have it. Now you have a little pocket here. You could put a note in and check out how much space is in that bag. I mean, if I don't close it up, there's a lot of space in there. Let's see here. Well, it's not quite big enough for a spool of ribbon, but it is definitely big enough for uh, some embellishments. And let's see here some bling and oh maybe a little half inch punch uh some snail look at that <laughs> that's an adorable little gift bag and it holds a lot of stuff doesn't it okay guys thank you all so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial and uh, if you are in love with this little bag, you're going to want to get your hands on it. It will be available on January 3rd. So you can't get it yet, but you will be able to on January 3rd. It's the Dress to Impress All Dressed Up uh, Stamps and Dies. It should be the Dress to Impress. Um, no, it's the Best Dressed Sweet. Sorry, I'm still learning them. Dress to Impress Bundle. That's the stamps and the dies. Uh, and the dressed, no, best dressed, <laughs> goodness, <laughs> the best dressed designer series paper uh, are in the product share. Um, the paper share that I will have available uh, in the next couple of weeks and the ribbon share that I will have coming up will also include new products from this product suite. So be on the lookout for those. And uh, in the meantime, you can visit my website, danasullivan.stampinup.net, for all of your stamping needs, snail, ribbon, markers, paper, whatever it is that you need, you will find it there. And uh, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment down below what occasion you can think of that you would use one of these bags for or, uh, you know, how you feel about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and all of those wonderful occasions and spend some wonderful time with your families. Bye for now.